Oh, my shed, my new one. Empty, don't worry. Oh, my shed. Well, the guy that used to live here, he had this shed packed full right to the door. So I was nice and uh, he, he asked me if uh, he could leave it in there for a while until he uh, got the room at his other place for all the stuff. Uh, he's in a really bad car accident. So he got all screwed up, but uh, we're getting to, um, we're almost getting ready for snow up here. So I was kind of like, you know, it'd be nice to use the shed to put, uh, you know, a lot of the stuff, the snow blower, lawn mowers, you know, all the stuff that's kind of in the garage um, that I can, you know, get in here out of the way so I got more room to work in the garage during the winter. He said he didn't want these tires. They're like new, studded. They're uh, 235-70-16s. Mm. Nothing really that I need for anything. But, uh, should be able to get a couple of bucks for those, especially up here. Everyone likes the studded tires. Calls for a celebration. Very simply, uh, simply built shed, you know. Basic uh, wooden frame, plywood floor. I do have to uh, if you look down there, kind of just goes right out so the critters will I would say would come up in there I mean there was no signs of them in here so far but I think I'm just going to get that expanding foam and just go just squirt it in all along the edges at least it'll help it a little bit maybe run a cord out here or something get some couple lights so you can see what you're doing Possibilities are endless. The door was a little bigger. You could you could definitely fit a truck right in there. Oh, the cap sold. The guy paid me cash for it. But uh, it's been weeks and I haven't seen him. He said he needed a couple of days. Then he was going to come back and put it on, but I don't know. Let it sit there. The old Suburban is definitely, finally, going to be able to come into a garage during the winter. Get some much needed love. Yep. Gonna get a lot of love. Not too bad, eh, boys? Bill Burns. 